Okay, so one time. God, I still get fucking pissed from it. Um, so <laughs> when my sister was in early college, my, when my older sister was in early college, she was dating this guy that was a bit of a prankster, right? Um, and her boyfriend knew that I was into art stuff, and you know, I was like, I was a high school girl, you know, I was. I was like dreaming of going to an art school and stuff like that. So this asshole, this fucking asshole, calls me, you know, gets my phone number from my sister, calls me, uses his best fucking call center voice, and pretends to be calling from one of the art institutes. Which I mean I know now are a scam, but you know, back then I was really excited. So he pretends to be calling. From an art institute. Yeah, I think I've told this story before. Um, and he's like, Oh, Picky, you know, I just... You know, we we wanted to talk to you about, you know, perhaps offering you a scholarship. You know, we've been we've been seeing your work, blah, blah, blah. And we think it's, you know, a perfect fit for us. Like, you know, yeah, the whole story. <coughs> the dude had everything. <sighs> I fucking fell for it. I fucking fell for it. I was so excited and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I'll, I'll email you anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll, you know, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll, yeah, whatever. Like, I'll send you any documents. Like, yeah, this is my address. Please send me the flyers. Like, send me all this stuff. Did my sister put him up to it? Apparently, between the both of them, they planned it. And. <laughs> between the both of them, they planned it. You know, because I don't think he had my phone number before. And. And then I told my sister, and she couldn't stop smiling and laughing. And that's when I found out that it was them. I was so mad. I was so mad. I was furious. I'm still furious about it. Still fucking mad about it. 